you know, when I was chairman of the Judiciary Committee and Mueller was the FBI director, I worked with him on a lot of sensitive issues, and some of that, you know, incurred bungled procurement by his predecessor as FBI director. Mr. Mueller has always treated me with respect. I have, uh, uh, he has taken into account some of the concerns that I had as being the chief house overseer, you know, the FBI, and I believe that he should be allowed to continue his investigation and let the chips fall where they may. Now, you know, that being said, none of the indictments that have been brought so far uh, have had anything to do with alleged Russian interference in the election, including the ones that came last week. You know, I don't know how many Americans would respond to any type of foreign interference, whether it came from Russia or anybody else. And I have yet to find one person who has come to these meetings that changed their vote from Hillary Clinton to Donald Trump uh, in the fall of uh, 2016 because it would make Mr. Putin happy. Uh, so, uh, you know, the fact, the fact of the matter remains is that we'll see if there's any criminal activity. Uh, Mueller should uh, 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 get to the bottom of this uh, when he completes his investigation. Uh, he can either have a grand jury indict people that he thinks probably committed crimes, but he will report to the American public what his findings are. And then we can talk about what to do about it. 